competing. We I don't know what company I'm in. Yes. I'll tell you. <laughs> we have Chef Dad and Chef Dad's daughter, Sam, in the kitchen. And you say this is a, a household favorite oh, yeah, that we're making. Sure. Big time. Okay. I mean, well, you know, it's the holidays. Mm -hmm. It's time for sweets and treats and things like that. And I'll tell you what, my wife uh, had a great idea. Mm -hmm. I'll show you in a little bit how to wrap them up and give I know, them away as a nice so gift. so cute. You, you know, say this is holidays. easy? So easy. Okay. Watch this. That's what Lee and I are all about. Okay. Okay. Watch this. <laughs> okay, in this bowl right here, I've got melted chocolate. I see. How did I get there? Mm -hmm. Well, I took one bag of each semi-sweet milk chocolate and bittersweet chocolate, mm -hmm. and I put the whole bag in this bowl which is sitting above water that was simmering. Okay. Okay? It's called the double boiler sure. feature, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, and it only took about, what, Debbie, uh, about five or 10 minutes, you know, for that to go ahead and melt. Mm. So I'm gonna get rid of this okay. and just go ahead and start working with the chocolate. And now that the chocolate's melted, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some fun stuff to it. Love it. Now, before I do that, I gotta keep my assistant busy. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, get to work, oh. assistant. I know. Oh, she gets yeah, 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 she gets the lame. No, I sense nepotism. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in first, I'm gonna do some dried cranberry. I'm looking for about a cup or so. I've got some dried candied pineapple. Pineapple. Oh, that's an interesting ingredient. Really good flavor. Uh -huh. I've got a nut mixture here. I've got some slivered almonds, some macadamia. I'm looking for about a cup of that. Nice and then flavors. I love salted cashews Ooh. that I chopped up a little bit. Okay. okay. Can you put those like in a food processor yeah. or something? You know, you can just, you know, put it on your cutting board and okay. just go ahead and, you know, chop away. Yeah. You know, the Cuisinart would uh, get it too fine. Yeah. Unless you just pulsed it a couple of times. Yeah, absolutely. Now, can I ask you, if you love raisins, not so much cranberries or something, can you interchange some of the ingredients absolutely. that you put in there? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. that's a good idea because some people prefer raisins over uh -huh. cranberry, you know, so that would be a good substitute. And, you know, the some there's dried mango out there. Oh, yes, you know, and apricots. And apricot, and yeah. All sorts of different flavors. Okay. Now, you know, very simply, when you're done mixing it together, I'm going to go ahead and pour this whole thing right into a dish, a casserole dish, that has non-stick aluminum foil. Okay, so this is interesting. You didn't spray the pan, you put it in aluminum foil. That's correct. You know, but if it was not the non-stick and it was regular aluminum foil, uh -huh. get some cooking spray. Got it, okay. And go ahead and spray, because you don't want it to stick. But, you know, after I get it spread out into the pan, I'm going to let it sit on my counter for about 15, 20 minutes to cool down. And then just before I put it in the fridge, what I'm gonna do is sprinkle about a tablespoon of salt. Oh, oh, over oh the interesting. Top. Really yeah, okay. And, okay. And the reason why I wanna wait is I don't want the salt to melt. So, okay. Because as you can see here by these finished ones, oh. you can see the salt. No pun intended. Huh. But I'm not. Okay. <laughs> well, with the nuts and the chocolate, yeah, it's a nice. Oh my God. Chef Dad Joe. As my 23 year old smacks me in the back yeah. of the head. Well, by the way, Sam, you're doing a heck of a job cleaning the. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, nicely the done. Good form. Well, my, Great job. My poor kid, like you, is allergic to peanuts. I am so, not, on the other but hand. Gina is not. <laughs> it's up to Gina then. So, it is up to you, my friend. We'll make the sacrifice oh, and be the taste so tester. <laughs> Because this is all about you. <laughs> mm. Oh, so good of you. Mm. Yeah. Isn't that fun? But that's that simple. Really you just refrigerate it for yeah, yeah, just, and then yeah, chop just, it up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, take it out. Love this it. comes off real easily. Well, Gina was Flip saying one over. of the things, because Gina can't talk right now. <laughs> one of the things she liked is that it's just a bite, so it doesn't, you know, overpower you. You don't yeah. feel like you've been gluttonous. Just a little dab nice little taste. Yeah, a little, you know, it's a, a great little gift. As you can see, Tammy uh, wrapped Chef up two of them. Chef mom. <laughs> Chef yeah. mom made a beautiful <laughs> interesting is that I can really taste all the different chocolates. Uh -huh. It'd be yeah. good to maybe even mix in some of the white, like white chocolate as well. But like, yep. gosh, the sweet and the salty together. Yes. Oh, oh, that's fantastic. And, and you know I'm what? A, a, a secret for all of you at home, and you guys as well. If you wanted to add two or three Toblerone chocolate bars oh, to this wow. mix, yeah. <laughs> get that little nougat in there. So mm -hmm. more chocolate, um, more chocolate, chocolate and, more and chocolate. then more chocolate. There and when we go. come back, we're going to show a, a little bit more of what your wife did to make us a beautiful gift Sounds as well. Sounds like a good one.